um, of our shows were more intensely dramatic. Back of the psychological reason back of the I simply don't know. I can't imagine. I mean, I, uh, you must realize that I, when I left the broadcast last night, I went into a uh, dress rehearsal for a play that's opening in two days, and I've had almost no sleep, and I, you, I know less about this than you do. I haven't read the papers, except oh, the first thing you had that something was wrong? After the result. Indeed. Were you aware of terror at the time you were giving this role? Were you aware that terror was going on throughout oh, the nation? Oh, no, of course not. You know, we did Dracula, and uh, it seemed to me during Dracula I had high hopes that people would uh, react as they do in a movie uh, of that kind, and uh, uh, I don't know that they did particularly, and uh, so I'd given up. One doesn't believe in the radio audience much. You don't know that they're, whether they're listening or not. You have no idea how many people are listening or what they're thinking. I had every hope that... Uh, that the people would be excited as they would be at a melodrama. But, yeah. Tone yeah. down the. Uh, do it again, but you don't. You don't uh, uh, play down the melodramatic effect of a of a melodrama. Have you altered your plans for future problems in any way as a result of this incident? Naturally, I. Uh, we will have to sit down and, and think very carefully about future broadcasts. Have you make any specific changes in any programs that were already uh, scheduled, such as next week, for instance? No. Uh, Mr. Well, well, three short stories. Uh, when you were doing this program, could you, when you spoke about nurses, did you feel that the people who were listening in on this program would uh, know that there was no such thing as Martians? Well, it would seem to me unlikely that, uh, uh, that, uh, the people of an invasion from Mars would find ready acceptance. I was, uh, frankly, terribly shocked to learn that, that uh, it did. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm, primarily the, I'm primarily the... Mr. Wells, why did you use local town? In this broadcast. Well, H.G. Wells uses local tones addressing an English audience. I was addressing an American audience, so the transplantation was quite logical, it seems to me. He doesn't use mythical tones, he uses quite real ones. Well, what was well, 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 yes. a mythical tone? It, it no. was a mythical town, but it was uh, it was uh, it was near enough. It's so uh, it, it was it was near enough to a real name. I've forgotten how we figured it out. It's either that it's Grover's Mills, or it is Grove's Mill, or something. At any anyway, rate, we we changed it slightly, hoping that that would uh, a thing which H. G. Wells did not do. He uh, his uh, his names are quite real, quite real English towns. Without any change, man. Right yes. The camera. We've asked you that uh, before. Ask it loud. But, uh, very loud. Loud. Do you think, Mr. Wells, that you might have taken unfair advantage of the public in using a method as a conveyance for authentic news? I don't believe that I have since. It is not a method original with me. It is used by many radio programs. Uh, I am terribly shocked by the effect it's had. I do not believe that the method is original with me or, or peculiar to the Mercury Theater's presentation. Do you think there ought to be a law uh, against such uh, enactments as we had last night or as a result of that? I don't know what the legislation would be. I know that almost everybody in radio would do almost anything to avert the kind of thing that has happened, uh -huh. myself included, but I, uh, I don't know what the legislation would be. We simply, radio is new and we are learning about the effect it has on people. We learned a terrible lesson. Will, do you think that this will cause uh, the curbing of uh, radio bulletins on the air today? I simply can't imagine. It seems to me that uh, the effects of this will may have uh, may cause much legislation. I don't. I simply don't know. It's it, it, the wisdom of uh, of radio executives and of uh, of an organized public will decide these things for us. <coughs> it's not up to me to speak. I'm the uh, Mr. Wells, accused. I, I was in Europe at the time that Shushnik was murdered, and I remember very vividly the time, the way that came through the air. I should say that your presentation last night was even more dramatic and more realistic than the way the, the, the Vienna radio station did theirs. Yes, the so intention... In view, of that, in view of that, don't you think that somebody here would have been able to gauge the reaction which in fact has occurred throughout the United States? Well, every radio program tries to be more dramatic than life, as every play tries to be more dramatic than life in every movie. 
not less so. I would have been surprised if, if uh, and, and hurt as anybody would, if they'd been told that a presentation was less effective than life. The, the, when you're on the <coughs>